Hi, Don. Thanks for letting me ask some questions today. Well, thank you for having me. After having reunited with your biological daughter last year, what was it like to go into a professional studio to record together for the first time? Well, at the time, I didn't even know my daughter was a musician. I didn't really know anything about her at all. She was taken away from me soon after she was born, and she was put in foster home care, and then she was finally adopted out. And by then, I was already in trouble of my own. I was in Juneau Hall from there in the camp, and I went from camp into the California Youth Authority, which led to the state penitentiary. All of that happened because of my nonstop drug use. And then when I got out, my daughter, meanwhile, hired a private investigator and was looking into seeing if she might be able to find me. And one day, she actually did find me. Now, the type of lifestyle I was living, I was sleeping in the bushes and just running around, gambling, getting high. And uh, when she found me, she brought it to my attention that there might be a, a possibility of a different type of a lifestyle, and we began getting to know one another. And what happened was is I found out that she was a musician, and uh, me being a musician, hey, this was an exciting moment here. 
we started practicing music together and then she brought us into a recording studio with some of LA's top musicians. We did a couple of songs, we did one of her songs and I played the guitar on it and she sang on it and the band played and it was all recorded live in the studio, followed by that, then we did Don's jam, we did my song and in order to answer your question of how did I feel about the whole thing, well it was the most spiritual high I had ever felt on anything in my life, to be honest with you. What role has music played in your life? When did you start playing? How did music stay with you all these years? Music became my life at the age of nine. By the time I was 13, when my mother bought me an electric guitar for my birthday, me and music was a one of a kind for the rest of my life on up. By then, I was already doing almost every drug you could possibly get a hold of. And uh, that led me into different institutions that I had to serve time in, going in and out of juvenile hall and camp and YA, which led to the prisons. But the good news is I was able to bring my guitar with me and I was able to continue practicing. I found other bandmates and, and put bands together and all that kind of stuff and I carried on from there. I learned a lot of music and a lot of songs and everything while I was doing time. But eventually, when my daughter found me, and I realized that how talented she was as a musician, I decided to put something together with her. We went to the recording studio and hired a band and man, it was fantastic, it was awesome from there. And I'm really excited to share this with people.